Hello Gator families. The 23-24 school year is underway and the first day for students will be here soon. I hope you and your family enjoyed special time together this summer and are ready to begin an exciting new school year in Gator Nation. Our theme for the year is Taking Flight. Together we soar in 23-24. Everyone is eagerly awaiting the opening of our new school, Dickinson Junior High. The week of August 7th and again this week, Dickinson Junior High is undergoing comprehensive inspection. On Tuesday, August 14th, teachers and staff will begin moving in and they will be ready to roll out the welcome mat to our first group of Dickinson Junior High 6th and 7th graders on August 21st, the transition day, and to 8th grade students on August 22nd. A formal dedication of Dickinson Junior High will be held in October. At this time, the extension of Central Park Boulevard to the I-45 access road has not been completed. To avoid excessive traffic congestion, we are requesting students ride the bus to and from school. We will update our Dickinson Junior High families when the I-45 access to Central Park Boulevard is open and we appreciate your patience and understanding. Throughout the summer, our maintenance and operations staff have moved many truckloads filled with teacher and grade level supplies to new locations. The transition of grade levels has been a monumental task. However, we are ready to begin with fourth and fifth graders at our middle school campuses and sixth graders at our junior high campuses. The renovation and expansion work at the Transportation Center, Technology Center, and agriculture facility is well underway, and we anticipate the completion of all these projects before the end of the first semester. When these three projects are finished, all items that were part of the 2020 bond will be completed, and planning and preparations for the projects approved in the 2023 bond will begin. This year, our enrollment is projected to reach over 12,750 students. During the centralized enrollment event held on August 3rd and 4th, 737 new students were registered to attend schools in our district and additional new students are registering at their campuses each day. On Monday, August 7th, we welcomed over 230 new teachers and support staff to the district for four days of training and all staff returned to the district on Friday, August 11th. At this time, we only have one teaching position that has not been filled, and we are making progress with bus drivers in our transportation department. Safety and security are always top priorities in Dickinson ISD. The security improvements approved in bond 2020 were completed last fall, and all campuses have secured vestibules with controlled access. Before students return to school, employees and substitutes will receive training on district and campus safety procedures. Updated training will occur for threat assessment team members, and all campus staff will have access to our SHARE 911 alert system. The standard response protocol by the I Love You Guys Foundation will be utilized at all campuses and practice drills will reinforce the steps that must be followed in the event of an emergency. A district communications emergency guide aligned to the standard response protocol is posted on the district website and it outlines the communication actions that will take place for different types of emergencies. At district facilities, all exterior doors will remain locked, and inside the buildings, classroom doors will remain locked when students are inside classrooms. Parents and visitors will only be able to access a campus through the front main entrance doors, and all visitors must sign in when they arrive and sign out when they leave. They must also have a valid ID from the Raptor Identification System and wear the visitor badge that is provided at all times while on district property. Only parents or contacts listed in Skyward will be given access. 
The safety expectations for interior classrooms will also be expected in all portable instructional classrooms. With funding from a TEA safety grant and the 2023 bond, additional safety upgrades will occur after the school year begins. This includes fencing or upgrades to existing fencing at some campuses, additional protective window film at campuses, and enhancements to our district technology for cybersecurity protection. Currently, Dickinson ISD has 10 officers from the Galveston County Sheriff's Office serving our campuses. We are investigating the options available for providing armed security, and we will be adding additional armed security soon. Safety is foundational to student learning, and we will continue working closely with our Safety and Security Committee, the Texas School Safety Center, Galveston County Sheriff's Department, and the Dickinson, League City, and Texas City Police Departments to further improve our safety efforts. A comprehensive list of the 2023-2024 preventative safety measures that are in place in the district is on our website and additional safety information will be provided to parents by principals about specific campus procedures. The beginning of a new school year in a new location is exciting, but it can also be overwhelming for students. To help with this, a transition day was implemented last year and it will continue this year. While all students will return on Tuesday, August 22nd, students entering pre-kindergarten, kindergarten, fourth grade, fifth grade, sixth grade, seventh grade, and ninth grade will return one day early. During the summer, principals and campus teams have worked on transition day plans, and on Monday, August 21st, students in transition grade levels will be provided with a special day to help them get acquainted with their new campus, teachers, schedules, and classroom and campus procedures. Bus transportation is available for the transition day. As we begin this new school year, we are excited to be one of the first districts in the state to provide students with an imaging simulation lab. Through a Texas Workforce Commission JET grant, space at Dickinson High School has been renovated and students in our health science pathway now can complete the courses that will lead to certification as a limited medical radiologic technologist. Statistics indicate the growing need for employees in this healthcare area, and we are grateful for the grant funding to make this opportunity a reality for our students. Another change that many of our secondary students are happy about is the adjustment to the dress code, allowing junior high and high school students to wear shorts. Please remember, no shorter than mid-thigh in length with a hem. In Dickinson ISD, our mission is to equip and empower all learners with skills and experiences to achieve academic excellence and make meaningful contributions to our world. For this to happen, everyone must be accountable for teaching and learning. Students, parents, teachers, campus administrators, and district administrators. At our campuses, collaborative teams will ensure student growth and achievement on grade level essential standards by being laser focused on current achievement data for our students and on the high quality instruction and intervention needed for students to learn and grow in every classroom. We want our students to be the best they can possibly be in their academic studies, in their areas of special interest, and in their extracurricular activities. Parents, our campuses need your help and support. Please help your students leave home each morning with a positive start. Make sure they are on time and attend school each day. Keep your contact information in Skyward always up to date and access Skyward to stay informed on assignments and grades or to communicate with teachers. In addition, sign up for a Schoology account if you have not already done so. And if possible, volunteer at your child's school or with extracurricular activities. A strong partnership between home and school is essential for student achievement, and we look forward to working with you. The 2023-2024 school year will be action-packed 
as we adjust to the campus transitions, as we strive to provide engaging, high quality, and innovative experiences for our students, and as we plan future new facilities. Enjoy the remaining days of the summer break and get ready to take flight and soar together in 2324. We look forward to welcoming all students back at our campuses on August 22nd. Go Gators!